If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for an easier way to create YouTube videos. YouTube automation is a method that allows you to make YouTube content without recording yourself. In this video, we're going to use one simple tool to create videos from scratch. First of all, we'll go to Flixir.com and then click on Get Started. Here we'll be presented with a number of import options. The first step we're going to take is to generate the voiceover for our video. I already have a script saved here. We'll copy it and then we'll go back to Flixir, select text to speech and paste our text in here. Then we'll select English as the language and pick one of the voices. We're gonna go with Arthur for this video. We'll click on Add to Media. Now that our voiceover has been generated, let's play it back to see if everything's alright. Three fun facts you didn't know about BMW. Sounds good to me. The next step we need to take is to find as many videos and images related to our voiceover as possible. Let's go to the Stock tab. Keeping in mind that this voiceover is about BMW, we'll go to the Stock tab and look for interesting videos featuring the brand. Of course, at the start of the video, we also talk about how BMW started out making aircraft, so we're gonna look up aircraft, add the video to the beginning here, and then go back to the Stock tab to look for more images and videos related to the voiceover we just generated. We'll also go to the Image tab. We're going to need a lot of BMW-related images, but we'll use this one right at the start because we need an intro. We need to cut it to the exact length that we need. You can do that using the Cut button or the S key on your keyboard. Afterwards, we'll click on Ripple Delete and move this image on the lower track here. This transition is a bit too sudden, which is why I suggest that you use the Transitions tab as well. We'll use a blur, but we'll make it much shorter. I really like the way this looks right now. After we've taken care of the transitions, we'll need a soundtrack. To add a soundtrack, we can use the Audio tab. Here you'll find a large number of copyright-free tracks that you can use. When you find the one that fits your video the best, drag it down to the timeline. It's very important that you adjust the volume. I recommend using a volume of 5 since you don't want the background music to be too loud and distracting. We'll select 5 over here and play it back to see how it sounds. Three fun facts you didn't know about BMW. I think it sounds great. Next up, we can add an intro next to the logo here. To do that, we can choose from a large number of presets built into Flixir that allow us to create an intro based on a text. We'll choose this one and place it right at the start here. Afterwards, we'll need to edit it. After modifying the text, we can choose from a multitude of fonts as well as modify the colors of the graphical elements. Let's see what it looks like. In my opinion, this looks great, but we'll make it a little shorter and trim it down to the duration of our intro. Another thing I want to suggest is adding a subscribe button. This way you can remind and encourage viewers to subscribe to your YouTube channel. To do that, go to the Motion tab and select one of the presets that Flixir is offering. I'm going to use this one. I'll place it right at the start and we can see what it looks like. It looks great to me. At the moment, all we have left to do is add more images and videos to finish our clip. When you're done, you need to click on Export and in less than 3 minutes your video will look like this. Three fun facts you didn't know about BMW. 1. They originally manufactured aircraft engines. Although BMW is now best known for producing cars, this was not the original purpose of their company, they actually manufactured engines for planes. When the company was first founded, it was during World War I. At this time, there was a huge demand for engines for warplanes. Rapp Motor and Otto Worker merged to create an airplane manufacturing company. The planes they produced were described by Red Baron as the greatest engines in Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions feel free to comment below. I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.